Have you ever wondered how an airplane stays balanced in the air? Well, the answer lies in a key component of the aircraft's design known as the horizontal stabilizer. This small but crucial element is a movable surface located at the tail end of the aircraft. But don't let its size fool you. The horizontal stabilizer plays a major role in maintaining the aircraft's longitudinal balance, also known as trim. Now you might be asking, what does longitudinal balance mean? Well, imagine a teeter-totter. If one side is heavier, it tilts down, right? The same concept applies to an airplane. The aircraft must balance around its center of gravity to maintain a stable flight. That's where the horizontal stabilizer comes in. It exerts an upward or downward force at a distance from the center of gravity, ensuring that the summation of pitch moments around the center of gravity remains zero. In simpler terms, it keeps the nose of the plane from pointing too far up or too far down. The horizontal stabilizer is a bit like the rudder of a ship, but instead of steering left or right, it helps control the pitch of the aircraft, which is the angle at which the plane is climbing or descending. Without active input from the pilot, the horizontal stabilizer maintains a constant pitch angle relative to the airstream. This means it helps the aircraft stay level and stable during flight, regardless of turbulence or other disturbances. But the horizontal stabilizer does more than just keep the plane level. It also plays a vital role in achieving static stability. This refers to the aircraft's tendency to return to its trimmed condition if it's disturbed. For this to happen, the aircraft's center of gravity must be ahead of the center of pressure. When correctly positioned, the stabilizer produces downward lift to counteract pitch changes. So, the horizontal stabilizer is essentially the device that keeps the plane level and stable during flight, much like a skilled tightrope walker balancing on a high wire. It's a key player in the intricate dance of forces that allows us to soar through the skies. Now that we know what a horizontal stabilizer does, let's dive into how it affects longitudinal stability and control. Longitudinal stability is essentially the aircraft's tendency to return to a balanced or trimmed condition after it's been disturbed. Think of it as a seesaw. If you push down on one end, it wants to come back to level, right? That's the aircraft's natural tendency to return to equilibrium. And it's the horizontal stabilizer's job to ensure that happens. The horizontal stabilizer maintains a constant pitch angle relative to the airstream. In layman's terms, it keeps the nose of the aircraft from dipping or rising too much by counteracting the aerodynamic forces acting on the aircraft. This helps the aircraft maintain a stable flight path, which is crucial for safety and efficiency. Now you might wonder how does the horizontal stabilizer achieve this? Well, it all comes down to the positioning of two crucial points the aircraft's centre of gravity and its centre of pressure. The centre of gravity is the point where the aircraft would balance if it were possible to suspend it at that point. It's the average location of the weight of the aircraft. The centre of pressure, on the other hand, is the point where the total sum of a pressure field acts on a body, causing a force to act through that point. To achieve static stability, the center of gravity must be ahead of the center of pressure. This positioning creates a natural restoring moment. If the aircraft pitches up or down, this moment helps to restore the aircraft to its original pitch angle. The horizontal stabilizer plays a significant role in this balance. It's positioned at the tail of the aircraft, a good distance from the center of gravity. This distance allows the stabilizer to exert a significant moment or turning force, helping to maintain the aircraft's equilibrium. But here's the twist. The horizontal stabilizer doesn't generate lift in the traditional sense. In fact, it does the opposite. It produces downward lift. This might seem counterintuitive at first, but it's what keeps the aircraft stable. When the aircraft pitches up, the downward lift at the tail counteracts this motion and brings the nose back down. In essence, the horizontal stabilizer acts like a lever arm, helping to balance the forces acting on the aircraft. By generating a downward force at the tail, it maintains the balance of forces and moments around the center of gravity. This ensures the aircraft remains level and stable during flight. Without the horizontal stabilizer, maintaining a constant pitch angle would be a challenging task for the pilot. It's like trying to balance on a tightrope without a balancing pole. 
Thanks to the horizontal stabilizer, the aircraft can maintain a stable flight path, making our journeys safer and smoother. But what happens when the aircraft is flying near the speed of sound? Let's find out. Now you might be wondering why we're talking about transonic flight. Well, it's because at these high speeds, the dynamics of flight change dramatically. And our trusty horizontal stabilizer is right there managing these changes. As the aircraft approaches the speed of sound, we enter a flight regime known as transonic. In this range, some parts of the aircraft are moving at subsonic speeds while others are moving at supersonic speeds. This can cause a sudden aft shift of the center of pressure, which is the point where the total sum of a pressure field acts on a body, causing a force to act through that point. This aft shift can be quite dramatic, and it can result in a nose-up pitching moment. This is where our horizontal stabilizer comes into play. It counters this pitching moment, maintaining longitudinal stability and keeping our aircraft level and steady. To do this, the horizontal stabilizer might have to produce more downward lift. This is achieved by changing the angle of attack of the stabilizer, which is the angle between the oncoming air or relative wind and a reference line on the airplane or wing. Moreover, in some modern aircraft, the horizontal stabilizer can even be adjusted in flight to optimize its performance at different speeds and altitudes. This is known as a stabilator, and it's a testament to the ingenuity of aircraft engineers. In the fast-paced, high-pressure world of transonic flight, the horizontal stabilizer is our aircraft's steadfast ally. It's constantly working, adjusting and reacting to external changes, ensuring that our aircraft remains stable and safe, regardless of the speed it's flying at. So the next time you're on a flight cruising at high altitude and near the speed of sound, remember the hard-working horizontal stabilizer that's keeping you safe. As we can see, the horizontal stabilizer plays a critical role even when the aircraft is flying at high speeds. Let's recap what we've learned about the horizontal stabilizer. Diving into the depths of aeronautics, we've unraveled the mysteries of the horizontal stabilizer, a movable surface situated at the rear of an aircraft. Its primary role, you'll recall, is to maintain the aircraft in longitudinal balance or trim. By exerting a vertical force at a distance, it ensures that the summation of pitch moments around the center of gravity remains zero. In simpler terms, this means it keeps the plane level and stable during flight, a function that's both crucial and fascinating. We've also explored the notion of longitudinal stability and control, a key aspect in understanding the workings of the horizontal stabilizer. Longitudinal stability is the aircraft's tendency to return to its trimmed condition if disturbed. It's like the aircraft's inbuilt autopilot, allowing the horizontal stabilizer to maintain a constant pitch angle relative to the airstream without the pilot's active input. For static stability, we learned that the aircraft's center of gravity must be ahead of the center of pressure. When properly positioned, the stabilizer produces downward lift to counteract pitch changes. It's like a delicate dance of forces, all carefully choreographed to keep the aircraft stable. As we ventured into the realm of transonic flight, things got a bit more complex. When an aircraft flies near the speed of sound, the local airspeed over the wing can cause a sudden aft shift of the center of pressure. This is where the horizontal stabilizer steps in, adjusting to these changes to maintain stability. It's a testament to the ingenuity of aeronautical engineering. How the stabilizer can account for such rapid and drastic changes. So, in essence, the horizontal stabilizer is a key player in the grand symphony of flight. It's constantly working behind the scenes, adjusting and readjusting, ensuring that your flight is as smooth and stable as possible. It's a testament to the marvels of engineering, a silent hero that keeps the aircraft level and stable. As we wrap up our journey into the world of aeronautical engineering, let's take a moment to appreciate the intricacies and complexities of flight. From the smallest screw to the largest wing, every component plays a vital role in making flight possible. And the horizontal stabilizer, as we've learned, is certainly no exception. And that's how the horizontal stabilizer helps keep an airplane balanced in the air. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Keep watching our videos for more intriguing insights 
into the world of engineering.